What's going on YouTube? This your boy Sal, back with another video. And today, we're gonna run down my top pickups of 2019. I don't have 10 like everybody else is doing, but I copped a few shoes this year. I didn't get as many as I normally do, but hopefully in 2020, we get some more shoes, better releases, so I get more and more shoes. But before we jump into this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel, Sal Souls, man. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. My top cops of 2019. Let's get it. The first shoe we have on the countdown is really not a shoe. It's a sandal, but it is the human race, human race tennis, I don't know, the human race sandal. Um, These are mandals, um, if you guys know what those are, but... I thought this shoe was dope, man. Um, I didn't make a video on these, so a lot of people don't, don't know I have these shoes, man. But these were dope. They came in several different kind of colorways. They came in this black one, which is the most simplest colorway to me. Um, they came in yellow, green, pink, like a royal bluish kind of color. Um, I think those are the majority of the, the colors that it came in. But the black was more my speed. Um, if you wanted to be a little bit more outlandish, you would have went with all the went with more of the popping colors, but a lot of people can't pull these off. I would recommend wearing these with like long, long, long socks, some shorts, and you know, just keep it pushing. But for a lot of people, these are not it. This was cool to me. I know a lot of people out there are not gonna like these, but if you do like these, um, I don't know if they're still available, but they're cool, they're comfortable. That's another reason I like these shoes. And if you can see on the back, it has that, that Dita Human Race um, logo. It has the, hue on the front part of the sandal and if you can kind of see inside of the sandal it has the footprint and it shows all the parts of the shoe all the parts of the sole that controls part of your body it says liver spleen and all that different kind of stuff but these were dope don't want to stay on these too long the human race mando sandal yeah shoe i was waiting on since i don't remember i think i can't remember the last time these shoes released but was it 2006 Please don't, please don't jump down my throat if I get this wrong. I said it correct in my actual review of this shoe. Um, I was waiting for this shoe to drop. I knew once these drop, I had to have them. I'm glad they wasn't limited. Um, we have the Air Jordan 4 Cool Grays. Cool Grays are so dope to me. They're so nostalgic to me. Like, I remember being back on, being younger, my name being younger and just looking these shoes up on Flight Club and just seeing the prices they went for. And I was like, yeah. I'm definitely not doing that, but they said there was re-releasing this year and I had to have them, man. A gray is a very neutral color, so you can wear this shoe with a lot of things. And I throw, on, throw this shoe on a lot. It's very dope. Um, it doesn't have Nike on the back, but it has that like um, silver jump man on the back. These things are dope, man. They're not too outlandish. They're simple, but they go with a lot of things. Um, that is the Air Jordan 4. Cool grays, man. On to the next one. Next shoe up. These, it's actually two shoes instead of one, but I didn't want to put them as two different shoes because the same exact silhouette. Um, we have the the Nike Element 87 React in this blue colorway, and we also have it in this cream colorway. These shoes are dope to me. These shoes are comfortable. These shoes are stylish. Like these were shoes I had to have in my collection. This was the first one I got. And then later on, these came out, and I was like, man, these things are dope. They're comfortable. Um, a lot of people, well, some people don't like these shoes, but they're dope, man. I don't understand how you can't like style and comfortability, because that's what a lot of brands are going with right now, style and comfortability. Yeah, these things are dope. You know, in this one, if you, you know, you put your shoes in, you put your foot in here, you have on different color socks, you'll be able to see it because it's translucent. This one does it too, but I usually wear a lot of black socks with this, but... The Nike 87 Element React, man. Dope shoe. This shoe didn't release this year, but I got it this year. Um, these shoes originally released in uh, 2013, and I just got them this year, like I said. That is the Air Jordan 1 Lanes. Had to have these shoes. I seen these shoes, <clears throat> I was looking at, well, seen these shoes several places. I was looking these shoes up on StockX, Go, and I was like, man, I want those, but I don't want to pay the price that they had them on there for. And then I didn't want to wait on the shoes. I like to cop a lot of my shoes and I can have them in hand. I seen them in a boutique here, copped them, loved them. Yes, had to bring them home. I posted them on Instagram. Everybody was going crazy. When did those release? 
um, when do those drop? Are they gonna restock? And I'm like, bro, these released in 2013, so you did. But very dope shoe. Fun fact about this shoe: um, this is the Laney colorway. This colorway comes on only the ones, the fives, the fourteens. Those are the only uh, silhouettes that this colorway comes on, and that's because Michael Jordan went to Laney High School. So you see this yellow and blue, like royal blue colorway. That's because of Michael Jordan's high school. But quality's good. You see the suede right here. It has good leather around it, and I don't think these will re-release. But if they re-release, I give me another pair, do a comparison. But the Air Jordan One, Lanes. I've seen pictures of these before it was actually an actual picture of the shoe. It was just like the mock-up, and I was like, yeah, these are dope. I have to have these. I have to have these. I'm telling my cousins about it, they was not having it. They was not having it. But when the actual pictures came out of these, everybody went crazy. They went crazy. And I was like, I told you. I told you. And that is whew, the Air Jordan 1 Turbo Greens. These shoes are so cold to me. These shoes are cold. The way they have this like vintage wash on the sneaker, man. These things are crazy, man. And then when you wear these shoes, you have to wear... For me, you, I wear like a lot of lighter tones with the shoe because it is like an aqua colorway. I would probably wear some nice washed denim, probably some gray because it goes with the bottom. But I'm not doing a whole bunch of matchy matchy wearing this same color. I think when I did my review on this shoe, I actually put a purple jacket on because it has purple right here. These things are dope. These things are dope. The quality is good. Materials are good. I love them. I love them. This is one, definitely one of my favorite pickups of this year. Hopefully you guys got them, but you know, comment down below. Comment down below how you guys feel about the Turbo Greens. The next shoe up is a shoe that's been haunting me since 2014 because I wasn't able to cop them. So when they said they were coming out this year, I was like, I have to have these shoes. That is the Air Jordan, the Air Jordan 6 Black Infrared. Story behind these, um, I told it in my review on this. Um, in 2014, they released this shoe in, for City Gear. They gave us guaranteed tickets, but they didn't tell us that you only had two hours to pick up your shoes. So they opened at 10, and they were saying by 12 o'clock, your shoe was going to be sold. So I got up there at 12, my shoe was gone. I wasn't the only person that had this issue. The shoe was just gone, and I was very upset that I wasn't able to get these. So I got them this year, and I'm very, very glad that I did get these. Um... I don't wear these much, as you can see. I probably only worn these like for the on for on foot of the review of this shoe, but I don't wear these much. But I'm very happy I have these in my collection. And fun fact: if you don't know, the Air Jordan One is my favorite silhouette in my um favorite Air Jordan One. But before I had those, before I started getting Air Jordan Ones, the Sixes was my favorite silhouette. I just like the way it's built. Um, Six is my favorite number, so the Air Jordan Six. And these things just pop, man. I love the, I love how it's black. I love the infrared hits on it, translucent bottom. Love that, man. But I'm not gonna keep you guys too long in this shoe. The Air Jordan Six, black infrareds. Last two shoes had a very tough time on which I was gonna put one or two. I, they could went either or, but this shoe is dope. I love this shoe. I had to have this shoe. That is the Air Jordan One Obsidians. Colorway on these are crazy. When you put these on feet, they pop. They pop. At first they said they was gonna be limited. I'm glad they wasn't limited. I had to have these, man. Very, very clean shoe. I love the way the color blocking is. I love how they have the navy and the obsidian pop off with the cream, cause this is, it's not white. The shoe is not white. Nothing on this shoe is white. The midsole isn't white. The black panel, the toe box is not white. All of the parts of the shoe is cream. It's cream, obsidian, and navy. These are dope. These are dope. And what's so crazy, and I just noticed that the inside sock line is a little bit different. It kind of feels like satin a little bit, but these things are crazy, man. These things are crazy. I get so excited when I pull my shoes back out and I do videos and I look at them. I'm like, man, I gotta wear these. Man, I gotta, yeah, these things are dope, bro. These things are dope. But the Air Jordan 1, obsidian. This is my shoe of the year that I copped. I love this shoe. And here we have the Air Jordan 4 Reds, man. I used to sit on the internet on Flight Club, I used to go on Flight Club and look at these shoes over and over and over and be like, yeah, I'm gonna save up all my money and I'm gonna get them. That never happened. 
But when they said they were releasing these this year, I was so happy they was coming with Nike Air on the back. So I got my breads, plus in the OG um, way. I was like, yes, this is it, bro. This is it. I never wear shoes the soon as I cop them. I wait a little bit, then I, then I wear them. The first day I got these, I sat and I just looked at these shoes over and over and over and over. And I was like, man, I want to wear them. Do not, don't want to wear them. Man, I want to wear them. I wore these things the first day. I wore the hell out of these. I had to have these shoes. I had to put them on. This shoe is so amazing to me. Air Jordan 4s are like one of my favorite silhouettes. Like if you can see, I like this, a lot of the nostalgic colorways. Like this I had the cool gray 4s earlier on in the countdown. But this definitely is my sneaker of the year for 2019. The Air Jordan 4 breads, man. I love this shoe. I love this shoe, man. But I don't want to keep you guys too long. This video is already a little bit long. What I always want to tell you guys is to tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel, Style Souls. Comment down below what was your favorite cop of 2019. If any one of these shoes were one of your favorite cops, tell me about that. Tell me if you liked a lot of these shoes. Tell me if you didn't like any of these shoes. Just comment down below what you like, man. This is your boy Sal. Like, comment, subscribe, man. And I'll see you guys in 2020. A lot of sneakers coming out in 2020, and we copping all of them. Peace.